Bunch up, you're gonna go, go around them. That's what we want you to do. You did pretty good yesterday when you hung, hugged the inside and you went down the hill and you passed like three or four or five kids down the hill. Yeah. After the start, that was a good move. Alright, are you as tired as I am? Yes, everyone's tired. <sighs> Why would they put a race on at seven in the morning? I don't know, man. I'm starting to rethink this dirt bike thing. Yeah, same. Might have to just take a career on um, scooters. <laughs> Why are you aiming the camera at my face? So it doesn't release so easy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. no, you just have just to drill, drill it down. lower. Right. Or just do you like the track like that, or do you like it more beat up? Oh, like this. Did you just go, eh, 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 eh. Rock TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nick. Look, could you say, all I need you to say is this, and it's golden. Say you are watching Rap TV. Yep. <laughs> all right. Back in the days, they had something called ABC Wild World of Sports, right? Yo, we might have got one televised race a year. Uh, and if you was outside playing, miss you it. missed it. You are watching Brop TV. Live. Live. <laughs> <laughs> When they all be like, yeah, 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 and you ain't got nothing. So what race is this? Uh, there's 17, 16 models already happening. Woo! What class is this? 85. 85? Yeah. You're going out on 85? Yeah. All on 65? 85. Okay, kids. Five, five, eleven, six foot tall. Here's how you're gonna make this work. That whole pack's gonna bunch up. You're gonna shoot for that green. You see that green sign way out there on the fence? The green sign? You shoot right for that sign. You leave all that pack room and you go all the way and you don't you don't shut off until you get to the top of that door. Do not lift in that white part of dirt. If you let off in that white part of dirt, you're not gonna get it stuck. Don't let off until you get to the dark dirt up top. See? Way up there.
track time Hudson was trying to qualify as well but I just came here to get some track time and uh, yeah we got qualified we got first first and then uh, first 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 <laughs> and then this moto right here the second moto for my older age group of super mini it's not my class I'm actually this is not, technically I'm this is the first year I can race that class I think yeah technically it's a 13 to 16 class or whatever technically this is like my first year I can race it and that kid's about what 16 so I think it's pretty good that I'm hanging with those kids that usually get top three at Loretta's in the Super Mini class and are 16, like two years more advanced in that class. But uh, I definitely need to go home and put in some more work on the Super Mini so that we can uh, come beat these dudes and uh, show them that, get the dubs. <laughs> uh, what do we need to work on? Um, I need to work on my more motos, try to get faster now. Cause now I realize all the kids are 10 times faster than me and how I need to train harder, gotta do more starts, everything. Yeah. I want you to understand the level that it takes just to qualify. It's very tough, okay? That's why we came up here. So obviously I think you understand that now, what we have to work on, right? Got it? So, you know, it's, it's a life lesson. I think if we're like, oh, it's all good, uh, you know, like, you know, we'll get them next time. That's not like really advancing the, uh, a kid's work ethic. I think his work ethic has to be okay. 
I gotta set my goals to make it, and that's what I'm doing. Did you have fun racing? Yeah. The track looked fun to me. Like it looked like the dirt was really good. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you want to out? Do you want to come back and race? To this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, next year is ten I'm to going, eleven. Can I go to Minios? <laughs> You don't have to qualify for that. <laughs> no, we can just go with mini holes, please. Tune in to the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just want to play. That's the yeah. thing. You know, you know, if you want to, want to actually line up, you just want to play. All right, we're just driving back from Tomahawk MX. It's West Virginia. You can see uh, driving through some rain earlier, and then it's about a six, seven-hour drive from the house in North Carolina. Old motorhome, man, it just shakes so bad. It rattles down the road, but uh, it was interesting. We had we head up there, or headed up there for Hudson, and so you could try to qualify. And it's crazy because I talked to a lot of people up there. They're like, "Hey, how did Hudson do?" And, and I'm like, "You know what? I just came up here. I just came up here to really give them a legitimate shot at, and I'm gonna be straight up succeed." or fail on his own. And I don't know if you can say, it's, eh, I guess fail is kind of a tough word, but at the end of the day, he put in his work, which, you know, at the end of the day, it's a tough race, and uh, I wanted him to go up there and see, there's certain things, you know, we, we you can't buy, and there's certain things you have to work for. There's That's really was the moral of the story to this whole trip. You know, I had to drive six, I think six, seven hours up there, get a hotel for a couple nights, fuel, whatever. It was, you know, we dumped some money into this this lesson for sure. But um, it's all good, you know, I let him go up there. It was really, really about him this, this weekend. We threw Hayden in the super mini class just for fun, and he obviously kicked butt. And uh, Hayden, or Hudson, ran somewhere around, you know, eighth to, 15th, I would say, out of 60 kids. So, I mean, it was good. I mean, it was cool to see them out there battling and really trying and at the race. And um, But came up full short, right? That's, let's just say that's that's what happened. So, the bikes were, were good. You know, the equipment was good. The track was awesome. You know, I'd give props to the guys up there. East Coast dirt, a lot of wood chips in it and sand. Didn't get too rutted, so it was a little better for Hudson, to be honest. Not a lot of deep ruts. And uh, the pace was fast. You know, those kids were moving out. And it was, uh, I had to say, just a reality check for him to go, hey. And he, it was cool to hear Hudson after the race go, I really need to work on my starts. I really need to work on my, my uh, pace. I need to go fast. I need to train harder and practice more if I want to qualify. So that was pretty cool hearing him say that. And so I feel like it was worth it. I mean, that trip, I'm kind of the slow guy in the fast lane right now. <laughs> that I feel like the trip was worth it because, you know, he's got a whole nother year now to try to work towards qualifying in the 65, 10 to 11 class which will be tough because he'll be young in the class, which will make it even harder because he'll be 10 in the 10 to 11. So, but he can do it. He just, I feel like he had the pace to qualify, but he just could not get out of the gate good. He'd come out of the gate sideways. He would double, triple clutch it at times because it was a metal mesh gate start, which was a lot of grip. And we practiced it. But I think when the pressure was on, the gate drops and the, the, the uh, excitement's high, he um, just resorts back to his instincts. You know, wah, wide open, dumps the clutch, you know, instead of smooth with the clutch. Hayden is so good at just being calm, using technique, his, and he just, uh, just does it at the right times, you know. He doesn't let the hype overtake his uh, actions, so... Uh, it's a good trait, and uh, Hudson's got to learn that. And so, overall, I think it was a cool weekend. No one crashed, really. No one got hurt. Hudson really didn't fall. He, he had a good weekend that way. That was a big, big hurdle for us to get over was Hudson just staying up for the whole race. I mean, he fell on one of the starts. Um, he, tipped, he, he tried to dive it in there, and I think he 
banged bars and tipped over. Um, but we really just struggled on the starts. Like, I feel like that was the weakness. And I mean, he had the pace. I mean, I think if he would have got good starts, he would have had a lot better shot at it. Uh, would he have still made it? Mm, been tough. Those kids in the top group were moving out. And I guess you, for me, you kind of... Uh, kind of get used to like Hayden his work ethic and he's always winning or trying to win and uh you kind of get used to that and it kind of threw me back to the wolves of like we're you know mid-pack trying to trying to get that you know that last spot to qualify and it was kind of I don't know humbling really to be there and see what all the other parents are going through and and uh I don't know it's kind of, you know, I got to I gotta kind of live it. And, you know, they had interviewed me on the mic. And it made me kind of, you know, realize, hey, you know, there's a lot of people here that their goal is just to get a ticket to get to Loretta. It's not even, like, to win the race, but just to get there. And I'm like, if that is if that is your goal, that's cool. But please don't yell at your kid at the race because, like I said, you can go win Loretta's and still not make it in the sport of motocross as a pro and make a ton of money and retire one day. And you can go win Loretta's. That happens all the time. Hayden's got some work to do to get ready for Loretta's. He is definitely on pace right now, hauling, hauling ass. And Hudson had fun. He definitely was like, I had fun. You know, it's kind of a weird moment when he's like, I'm not going to qualify, am I? And I was like, oh. you feel bad, but what do you do? It's the reality of life lesson, right? And even if I could, like, buy buy a ticket for him to be to Loretta, so that's not the right thing to do, right? These kids, you have to teach them how to win, how to lose, how to work for things. That is just the standard foundation of good life lessons, you know? We kind of see what happens when you hand kids whatever they want. You know, with no discipline, no work ethic, and you see kind of what happens to people, right? So, anyway, we are getting close to home, so better focus on driving. <laughs> <laughs>